People who already enjoy a grid-tied photovoltaic solar energy system may be considering the possibility of installing a thermal water heater as the next step in lowering their energy bills. Please consider some facts that should be taken into account before investing in a solar thermal water heater. A solar thermal water heater requires a backup heater for several reasons. First of all, a solar thermal water heater does not work well in winter. In a cold and frequently cloudy environment, the water inside the tank cools down a lot. In the best case, it stays lukewarm, not comfortable for a shower. A solar thermal water heater reaches its maximum temperature and then stops, even on a sunny day. Unable to take advantage of the energy harvested during a five or six hours on a sunny day. In addition, a solar thermal water heater is very expensive. Another drawback is that a solar thermal water heater takes up space and casts a shadow on the roof an area intended for future plans to expand the photovoltaic system. Is there any other alternative? A gas water heater definitely is not the way to go. Let's see why. In general terms, if you have conventional gas heaters, you have to repaint the interior walls every so often because they get darker due to the soot deposited on them. This without even thinking about the smoke going into your lungs. The imminent risk, quite serious by the way, of poisoning or explosion, especially if the residents or elders and they can forget to turn off the devices and cause dangerous leaks. If you have a contract with a piped gas company, there is always a minimum payment that can easily exceed the cost of your fuel, such as charges for distribution, service, connection, etc. On the other hand, if you buy yourself a large stationary tank, there will always be a risk of leaks and it could have very serious implications in case of fire or explosion. If we add the fact that stationary tanks are very expensive and have a very short expiration date. Another problem is that not all companies fill tanks completely. For all this, it is advisable to keep away from any type of gas installation, either piped or bottled. What do we have left? The electric water heater. An electric water heater is cheaper than one that runs on gas. A large electric water heater takes approximately two hours to heat your tank completely and it shuts off. If the electric heater consumes one kilowatt and a half per hour, at the latitude that provides five hours of sunshine per day, three hours of sunlight will be available for other uses. An electric water heater can even be installed inside a home without the risk of toxic emissions. In this way, it will also be protected against low temperatures in winter. Additionally, the electric water heater can be provided with an extra insulating cover to extend the time the water stays warm. Of course, to compensate the higher electricity demand, you will have to install at least three or four additional panels, but we must take into account that a solar thermal water heater would be very expensive anyway. It will require the installation of additional pipes and it will cast undesirable shadows on the roof. On the other hand, using photovoltaic solar panels provides the opportunity to return and use power to the grid and use such energy later 
for many electrical applications, whether for lighting, heating, cooling, cooking, and even for the electric water heater itself at night or on cloudy days. Just the comfort of having hot water regardless of the season or weather conditions represents a definite advantage. Another generally overlooked advantage is the fact of being able to trade your old gas range for an electric stove and disconnect yourself once and for all from the use of fossil fuel, which, in addition to high costs, takes its toll on our environment. The electric range is much easier to clean and does not mock cooking utensils. I hope this video makes you think a little about the option that may better suit your hot water needs. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Ciao Tarin.